expanding on the video we shared previously around the kind of lead shoulder pass, we kind of used the 3D data there, and it really looked at how that kind of shoulder likes to move in that kind of downswing phase. So that very defined reference, you look at the most established players and the most advanced players, invariably the lead shoulder is on top of and aligned with at impact its start position. So for example, as you see here, just kind of placing a circle on that kind of lead shoulder. As I move through a single point of impact, how that lead shoulder is on top of but align with its start position. So we can take a very exploratory approach to this. Start to then connect in. If I'm trying to encourage that lead shoulder to elevate and move back to its start position as far as it's in top of and align with, then start to explore how could I move through the feet. In particular, how could I start to move pressure through that trail foot, start to elevate up to that kind of lead foot, lead hip. How could I move that rib cage? Then start to kind of allow then, for example, that shoulders are then Again, be on top of, on a line with its start position. How could we move through head and eye, for example? How could the head move, for example, and transition to encourage that? So take that very exploratory approach. In some ways, the end defines the start. If we have a very defined end, for example, an impact, how do I encourage that lead shoulder to be on top of and align with its start position? How could I move through swing to best and encourage that movement to happen? So in some ways, we have a very defined end position. It's like a, a GPS is sat and we put coordinates in. How do I get there from here? So it's very similar within, say, for example, how we move in golf. If we have a very defined end, in some ways, then that maps out, then, for example, how we move through space. So again, how could we use the feet? How could we move the pelvis? How could we move the spine? How could we move through hand and arm to encourage an impact? That lead shoulder, start position, once again, you're just using that circle here, that start position, we're moving to impact. How could we encourage that kind of lead shoulder to move on top of and align with its start position?